Oh. Oh. That was a long road trip. Yes, it was. But it's been super worth it because we have been really busy with all of our nomad friends, which brings us to what we wanted to talk to you guys about today, community. But more specifically, community on the road. I know that was my biggest concern going into this life. How are we going to make friends? on the road if we're always moving is anyone else doing this does anyone else have kids doing this we honestly didn't know it really was i remember i was kind of already on board for the nomadic lifestyle but it was the community aspect that really held chris back from thinking that we could ever make this happen it really doesn't make any sense until you immerse yourself in this lifestyle yeah that's why we're gonna share with you three easy ways that you can build community on the road with kids so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see how we went from this to this in six months. Let's get into it. So when you first launch, you are just completely on your own. There's no way around that. When we first launched, we were in Missouri in the dead of winter. Don't do that. Don't go to Missouri in winter time. Yeah, if you're looking to meet people and hang out, the middle of Missouri in the middle of winter might not be your best place to start. No one's traveling there in winter. So again, don't do it. It was really lonely and it was really cold. We were there for a job assignment that I took and once that assignment ended, we were stir crazy to get out. We knew that finding community had to be our number one priority in order to make this lifestyle work for any long period of time. Yeah, you wanna make friends. You wanna feel like you've got a neighborhood still, you know? Yeah, support. Your kids need friends, need to know that they're not alone in this either and the truth is that you're not there is a massive nomad community out here on the road which is again why we're telling you that there are three easy ways that you can immerse yourselves in it once you set out for this lifestyle so that brings us to easy step number one look into local events and rallies held by rv organizations like escapees full-time families and republic of nomads yeah these events are designed for just that families, full-time RVers getting together for the purpose of just getting together. Establishing connections, and then it's up to you after that to maintain those connections out on the road. But it's a great opportunity um, to break the ice. We knew it was a priority, so before we even left Missouri, we had two tickets to two different events already lined up. So the very first event that we went to was the very first Republic of Nomads event out in Moapa Valley. And we're so glad that that was our first event because it was exactly what we were looking for. We immediately felt the sense of community that we were searching for, like instantly. We socialized, we made friends, our kids made friends. Can you hear somebody peeing in the background? We got to go on field trips and hikes together and ended every night around a campfire. RV community bliss. And since then, we've actually been to four different Republic of Nomad events, and one of them we actually got to host. And organize ourselves. We became ambassadors for them in a secret ceremony. The last photo you can take during the ceremony. <laughs> top secret. Seriously. Very secret. They don't it mess really around. It really happened. <laughs> So we really feel like that going to events and rallies is a great way to just break the ice, get you some social confidence so that you can just strike up conversation with people that you meet at campgrounds. Because you really can meet a lot of the community organically just by striking up conversation with people that you meet. And once you go to a rally, I feel like it just really brings down those walls. You realize how easy it is to really scope out and find all the other full-time families on the road. Yeah, you can go from feeling like you're completely alone out here, like you're the only ones doing this, to, oh, there's people here. There's like 30 our, other families here. <laughs> these are our people. And we've got friends that we made at that very first event that we still talk to and run into all the time. Yep, to but today. They're, they're like family now. So that brings us to easy step number two, a Thousand Trails membership. If you want to be at campgrounds where a lot of other full-time families are, most of the time it's a thousand trails. Thousand Trails is heavily utilized by the RV community. Once again, we are not sponsored by them, but it is just a great way to connect and maintain that community constantly. And if you are interested in learning more about the Thousand Trails membership, we talk about it a lot more in our YouTube video when we reached our one year RVing. That brings us to easy step number three of how to build community on the road with kids, which is reach out to people like us online, say hi, share your story, Cultivate this community online until plans align and you can meet up in real life. You can like and subscribe to us right now and we can be friends right now. Instantly. Let's talk. <laughs> 
And there you have it. That is three easy steps that you can build community on the road with kids. It's super possible. Yeah, you know, there's really nothing like the Nomad community out there. Everyone really embraces uniqueness and respects different lifestyles. We are super grateful to be a part of it and we are extending our hands out to you. If you have been searching for community, look no further, you have found it. We are always cheering you on. All right, guys, are we ready for another thousand mile road trip? Ugh, how much is that one gonna cost us? I don't know. Like and subscribe so that you can find out where we're going and how much our next adventure cost us. All right, let's go. I want to get some food. Come on, let's go. Oh, that's my road trip. Here we go. Are we going?